The delay that you know took place in you know, in January 2015, uh, you would appreciate again. You know, I don't want to sing the same song, but you know, <coughs> the last election was conducted during a very bad season. It was a rain season, and pass were inaccessible some parts of the country. But nonetheless, the commission tried its best to get the results within 48 hours. We are holding this election during the dry spell, and you know, we hope that you see, you know, we can have all the results within that 48 hours, if not earlier than that in some places. Those in some places which you know are far flung out and might require you see, you know, choppers, we do hope that we will get there very quickly, and I think there is indication that there is an improvement we might have to, uh, the facilities that you see, you know, we will use higher funds up to get to those places. They are fewer than they were, you see, you know, in January 2015, because it's dry season. So uh, we hope we will get the results within reasonable time. The issue of the grade 12 certificate, actually, if you, if you bring a certificate which is fake, which is not you know, from Matero, <laughs> College of you know, Technology, if I may call it, the commission will reject. <coughs> The commission will not accept that. And then you start to lose, the candidate will not be able to file his or her nomination paper. Even when, I mean some of you are employers, when somebody comes and is seeking for a job looking for employment, you want to verify whether that document is genuine. And so for instance, we write even to colleges abroad for them to confirm that the certificate which has been presented to us is a genuine document. <coughs> and nobody can do that except you see, no, is an council or something. <coughs> now the matter is before court. I don't want to de deliberate on this for a very long time. We know very well that it's been filed in court, and I'd rather that you see now the Muslim court gives us guidance on this matter. For now, let's wait for the outcome of the court's ruling. It will be expedited. Only you know, two days ago, the commission was in a workshop with you know, all the judges in the country. And these are some of the matters that were raised in the discussions. So we expect that we will get guidance in the shortest possible time. Government printers. <clears throat> Government printers participated in the tender uh, process. I don't want to talk about it because uh, we said already that you see these are being reviewed and it's one of the 13 companies or institutions that you know put in that bid. So please excuse me, I do not address the issue of government printers. Honorable Mr. talked about the security in our offices. To take people to vote again in the referendum. Security officers cannot be excused because I will already address that point with some of How long would it take for people to vote in the referendum? This is a matter which you see the Commission has been addressing because you know we will be voting at the same time and on the same day. 